In this lesson, we're going to look at graph logarithmic functions. So essentially, we're looking at sketching by considering the transformations. So A being a vertical dilation, B being our log base, C being a horizontal dilation, and as usual, H and K being our horizontal and vertical translations. Now, generally when we sketch logarithms, we don't look at all of these at once because we can manipulate into a simpler form. And I'll show you that a little bit later. I want to start by looking at an exponential function and looking at the links between an exponential and a logarithmic function. So if we consider the graph y is equal to 2 to the power of x, a very simple exponential. So if we want to sketch this, Let's just work out an easy set of values here, so x and y. When we let x be negative 1, we get y is equal to. So if we go f of negative 1, we get 2 to the power of negative 1, which is 1 half, and that's 0 0.5. When we look at f of 0, we get 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. And when we look at f of 1, we get 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. So pretty simple exponential function. We know that we've got a vertical asymptote, which is y is equal to 0. And when we plot these three points, 0, 1, and 1, 2, we get our exponential. Now, when we're looking at sketching a logarithm, a logarithmic function. First thing to recall is that a logarithm is the inverse of an exponential. So if we have y is equal to 2 to the power of x, we're looking at inversing. So we're swapping the x and y values. So inverse, we swap x and y. So if we swap that around, we now get x is equal to 2 to the power of y. Now we want a function that's y is equal to so if we convert this to log form, our base is 2, our exponent is y, so we have y is equal to log base 2 of x. Now the flip side of this, all the x and y values will be switched. So we will be able to work out these values to be x and y. We would have x values of 0 0.5, 1, and 2, which will give us y values of negative 1, 0, and 1. So if we switch these around 0 0.5 and negative 1, so we have 1 and 0, and then we have 2 and 1. Logarithmic function is that inverse. So we can see a couple of little feature things. Instead of having a horizontal asymptote, it will have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. It will never reach 0. So logarithmic values cannot be zero. And as each of those values are inverted, it's reflected about that line y is equal to x. So essentially, a logarithmic function will have a, a shape, which is a inverted reflection of an exponential. It has a horizontal asymptote. And it will always have a domain that is x is greater than that horizontal asymptote if it exists in this form, or x is less than that horizontal asymptote if it exists in the flipped form. So in order to sketch logarithmic functions, we're going to focus on this form. y is equal to a multiplied by log base b of x minus h. Any other form we should be able to manipulate. So the important things are this x equals h will be our asymptote. A will be our vertical dilation. Obviously, b is our log base. And when it is in the form h minus x, then we will have a, a horizontal inversion, which means that instead of our general shape looking like that, it will look like this. And when a 
is negative. We will have a vertical inversion, and so we will have a shape that instead of looking like that will be like this. So this is A is positive, and this is A is negative. Okay, now the idea should still be that we have to look at our critical points. So critical points will be our horizontal asymptote, which is x is equal to h, or our x-intercept, and our y-intercept. Okay, so we're going to go through a couple of examples now to look at how we sketch this. Okay, so it says, sketch the graph of each of the following, give the maximal domain, the equation of the asymptote, and the axis intercepts. So the first one, so the first one, we're looking to sketch y is equal to log base 2 of x take 3. So straight away we know the h value is equal to 3, so our asymptote is x is equal to 3. So we can start to draw this. Before we start, we know our asymptote is x equals 3. So it gives us an indication that it's going to exist on this side of that asymptote which means we will not have a y-intercept. So we only have to worry about calculating an x-intercept. So our x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So we've got 0 is equal to log base 2 x take 3. So let's put this in index form. Base 2, exponent 0. So we have 2 to the power of 0 is equal to x take 3. So that's 1 is equal to x take 3. And when we add 3, we get x is equal to 4. So our x-intercept is 4, 0. Now, we should probably find a secondary point. So an extra point, we're looking at f of x is equal to log base 2 of x take 3. Now, I want this to be something that we can simplify using log base 2. So if I make x equal 5, if I go f of 5, we're looking at log base 2 of 5 take 3, which is log base 2 of 2, which is 1. So therefore, we've got the point 5, 1 that we can use. So 5 and 1. Here is a logarithmic function. Nice and simple to draw. Now it also asks for the maximal domain. So our domain will be that x is greater than 3. All right, let's have a look at B, the second one. We're now looking at log base 2 of x plus 2. So y is equal to log base 2 of x plus 2. So straight away, again, we can see h is equal to negative 2, and therefore our asymptote is x is equal to negative 2. Now if we start by drawing it again, We've got our asymptote in here at x equals negative 2. Then we can see that because it exists on this side, we'll have both an x and a y-intercept. So we'll start with the x-intercept. That's when y is equal to 0. So we've got 0 is equal to log base 2 of x plus 2. We'll put this into exponential form. So we'll have 2 to the power of 0 is x plus 2. So 1 is equal to x plus 2, and subtract 2 from both sides, we've got x is negative 1. So we've got negative 1, 0. When we look at our y-intercept, when x is equal to 0, we've got y is equal to log base 2 of 0 plus 2, which is log base 2 of 2, which is 1. So we've got 0, 1 as our y-intercept. So negative 1 and 0, and 0, 1, gives us enough points to sketch out our function y is equal to log base 2 of x plus 2. Okay, again, nice and easy. Now, last example, we're going to look at sketching. f of x is equal to log base 2 of 3x. So y is equal to log base 2 of 3x. 
So in this case, because there's no plus or minus within, then we're going to end up with an asymptote of x is equal to 0. So we'll start by putting in our asymptote. Okay, so asymptote is in, it cannot have a y-intercept, but it will have an x-intercept. So x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. We've got 0 is equal to log base 2 of 3x. Put this into exponential form. And we will have 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 3x. So 1 is 3x, and therefore x is 1 over 3. So our x-intercept is 1 third and 0. So 1 third and 0 is our x-intercept. Now we want to have a second point. So our extra point, we want to be one that we can put in terms of 2. So we can choose any value here. Uh, let's say we choose 6, so we're going to say f of 6 is equal to log base 2 of 3 times 6, log base 2 of 18, and that will be equal to about 4.17, and so we've got 6 and 4.17, now we can skip this out and we've got a sketch of our logarithm. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. A logarithmic sketch is relatively straightforward. Again, it's an inverted form of an exponential, and you should be able to apply that horizontal asymptote, calculate our x-intercept and y-intercept to be able to sketch. Okay, thank you for listening.